we might be needing some divine intervention tonight. So the rain's actually stopped, uh, slowing down. I went to clear a bit for the evening because, as you can see, we have uh, some heavy, heavy clouds to go through and be interesting going through them at night. Uh, but, as you can see, How have you found it so far, Bron? Pretty good now, yeah. Going across the worst bogs, the view's very nice, the clouds are clearing away. I see a ray of sunshine over there. I'm trying to cover the mic from the camera, or from the wind, and conditions. Really deteriorating. Yeah, yeah. Conditions are really deteriorating fast. We're trying to get the bearings from the compass just alone. As you see, visibility super low at the moment, so trying to make sure we get it right, get our bearings. It's incredible how the wind, the rain, everything blowing in your face and you're trying to read your compass, trying to keep pacing and trying to get to your destination even though it's pitch black. It's tough but I tell you what, it's really really incredible to be just, just to be out here at night time uh, trying to find our way around. Um, it's like nothing I've ever tried to do before. Challenging but once we get back, very very rewarding. along the river. You see that? And then I don't move the compass. I move the compass down. So we finally made it back off. Uh, we've just finished our night navigation. We're just waiting for Paddy to come along. Uh, managed to get down safely enough. Uh, a couple of hairy moments, of course, because you're in the dark. You don't know because things seem a lot longer. Uh, declines seem a lot sharper. Um, you know, you're up the top there. It's quite calm now, but you're up the top there and the wind is howling in your face, raining. You're trying to read a compass, get your bearing, keep your bearings, keep uh, a count of your pacing and trying to get the map at the same time. I lost my map. Well, I didn't lose my map. My map got a bit destroyed. But uh, yeah, overall, I uh, learned some extremely valuable lessons. Uh, Michelle was excellent and uh, all ready for tomorrow. So we're back for a second day. We've got to uh, steep ascent, looking for uh, hazards while doing it. And we're climbing that thing there. Uh, we're out towards Linan. A uh, beautiful spot, beautiful location. And, uh, they're just checking up the, the trail. So you never really know what you're going to find when you go out on a hike and there's so much of this land just that, that is undiscovered. Like, that could be, it looks very man-made, it could be something totally innocuous, but it's always, it's always a little bit of an adventure, a little bit of a treasure hunt when you're coming out here.
you don't want to be doing this in a casual walk with a bit of, gr you know, with a yeah, group, yeah, yeah. taking anybody up this. It's just because we're doing the mountain skills in the steep. Oh, yeah. interesting exercise we're doing at the moment. Fron's way over there. We've had to keep our compass bearing to pace 100 meters. We're meeting back in the middle and uh, he's got to try and find my flask with his compass bearing and I have to try and find uh, his flask. So we found our flasks. Our compass work is good. <laughs> From that point you can see the whole thing like so. Yeah, yeah. yeah it looks I no, just go straight down. So we're just making our way back to the cars, um, enjoying the lovely sunshine. Uh, it's been at the end of our mountain skills, it's been incredibly enjoyable. Uh, learned some absolutely fascinating stuff. Uh, got a bit hairy doing this bit, bit of the steep parts, but um, that's pretty much what it's all about. Cloud cover and uh, and we were treated to that wonderful spectacle at the top. But um, these two trainings, uh, for anybody who's interested uh, in gaining better confidence in up in the mountains, it's amazing how much you learn. Uh, me having experience uh, hiking and stuff like that, it's amazing how much I learned. How much, um, uh, amazing how uh, so many things that I didn't know about. I'd highly recommend anybody interesting or anybody interested to go look up mountaineer in ireland get on that website and uh, check out courses near you um i've had uh, an incredible time uh and as i said learned loads so definitely worth it <laughs>